Upland is recreating the real world in the metaverse, but what's up with there being nine seasons in Upland? This structure ornament is from the carnival season, which lasts from February 10th to March 3rd every year. This means that this structure ornament can only be placed on my property during this specific season. In this video, I'm going to explain the logic behind that, as well as what structure ornaments are used for and why you need to own them. I'm YK2012, founder of the Upland Guide. I teach players how to play Upland and everything you need to know about the metaverse, so make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Here on the Upland Guide website, you can learn everything about structure ornaments, and we can also see here the list of the nine different seasons within Upland. Structure ornaments are manufactured in factories and shipped to showrooms in order to sell. When a specific structure ornament like this one, the Great Beach Party, is created, the season must be defined before it is minted. And of course, the design has to match the theme. You wouldn't be able to create a carnival-themed structure ornament for the Genesis season, which celebrates Upland's Genesis week. As you can see, with each season lasting approximately a month, that's nine seasons or almost nine months out of the year. So collectively, you can expect to decorate your home with some sort of ornament for 75% of the year. Now, similar to map assets, these structure ornaments can also be used as assets in any layer two experience that you're looking to create. But I believe that the big value proposition within layer one of Upland for these structure ornaments has to deal with neighborhood ratings. Now, as of March 2023, neighborhood ratings have still not been released in Upland. However, in October, they did introduce some of the ideas behind how it's going to be calculated. Take a look at the link in the upper right hand corner to watch that video and understand a little bit more about how neighborhood ratings will work. Upland has proposed a number of different metrics that will be used in order to determine if a neighborhood is strong enough with a large enough economic activity in order to spawn a new collection for that neighborhood in Upland, providing its players with potentially a one-time bonus and boosted earnings on their property yield. Now here is the Reddit post that goes into all the details as well. And here we can see that one of the metrics is dedicated spark hours for outdoor decor items per property. Now, despite the fact that they mention here outdoor decor items, I think that this also includes structure ornaments. It's also important to note that the term outdoor decor has now been changed to map assets. Every month, Upland will calculate these metrics for all of the different neighborhoods in Upland, and the neighborhood which has the top rank will then spawn this new neighborhood collection. Now, when you're placing map assets on your property, there's no time limit as to when you are allowed to place them on your properties. So you can just add more assets to your property. However, with structure ornaments, they're seasonal. So maybe if you're collecting a lot of these Halloween and haunted season ornaments, during that specific season, you will get a large boost in terms of the spark hours dedicated per property. This adds another layer of complexity when you're looking at the different neighborhoods. If you're a node and you're trying to achieve this status of having your neighborhood spawn a collection, you're going to want to strategize around which month you want to try and go for that boost. You may try and regularly collect these outdoor decor items for your properties, but regarding structure ornaments, you're probably going to want to focus your energy around one specific month. Beyond that, once your neighborhood spawns a collection, there's a different metric that is being measured in order to see if this neighborhood collection will gain a boosted earning or lose a boosted earning. And this is where you're going to be competing against the other neighborhoods that have spawned collections. So if you're a neighborhood that is very focused around, let's say, Carnival in Brazil, then you know that during the month of February, you're probably going to have a strong month in terms of the number of spark hours that you have invested in structure ornaments that are on your property. That will give you a boost and hopefully you will be in the 80th percentile and you will get an additional boosted earning. But you also have to be aware that during the other 11 months out of the year, you might not be in one of those top neighborhoods. Again, I want to point out that everything in this Reddit post is still not finalized and that what I have said in this video is pure speculation. We really don't have any information about how this will work. But I think that when you look at these structure ornaments and you look at these map assets that can be utilized in the same way in layer two applications, there has to be some sort of different value proposition within layer one. Otherwise, they wouldn't have done it the way that they've done it.
aside from the fact that it doesn't make sense to put Christmas decorations on your home in July. I think that this is the reasoning why there are nine seasons in Upland and why people are restricted in using their structure ornaments during certain periods throughout the year. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Do you agree with my reasoning? And what do you think about these structure ornaments?